Hey Brick fans, this is Dave from Brick 101, and today we're reviewing the McFarlane Toys Five Nights at Freddy's set, Parts and Service. This set is number 12697, contains 209 pieces, and retails for about $20 in the United States. This set is currently an exclusive for Toys R Us, uh, so you can only buy it there. Uh, it might become available more widely in the future, so you can always check the McFarland Toys website for more information about parts and service. And if you haven't already noticed, I have changed my background to green. I was hoping to make this change at the beginning of June, but June flew by like something that flies really fast. Uh, so only about a week left in June, but I'll do green through the end of June and through July. But let me know color suggestions for August in the comments. Let's start by taking a look at Shadow Freddy. Shadow Freddy is one of the hallucinations in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Uh, not a lot is known about the character, but this is a pretty accurate representation of how Shadow Freddy shows up in the game. The main distinguishing feature is of course his purple hue and his missing ear, both of which are well represented here. Um, not a lot to say about this figure. As typical with McFarlane toys, they've done a good job of representing a lot of the details. As far as I can tell, none of the pieces in Shadow Freddy are new. Uh, the head seems to be the same as Phantom Freddy, but with different paint colors on it. And the bib on the front seems to be the same as Toy Freddy, again with different paint colors. The arms we've seen in a lot of animatronics, just not in that color. And ditto the leg pieces. So seems to be they didn't have to invent any new pieces here, so probably made this a relatively inexpensive figure for them to produce. Here's Shadow Freddy with all the other Freddy animatronics. Um, we're really filling in now all the Freddy gaps. Really just, what do we need? Withered Freddy, uh, Nightmare Fredbear, who else? Not many left. 
Hey, Golden Freddy. Thanks for inviting me to this hallucination party where we can just sit down and relax. I really do love sitting, don't you? Why, yes, of course I do, Shadow Freddy. It's one of the many things we have in common. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Can I come to the hallucination party? I'm gonna stand. Oh, Recusifax. Uh, yeah, this is more of a sitting party. I'd like to stand. How about you stand somewhere else? Okay. I'm glad he's gone. Let's get back to sitting. Sit! Withered Foxy represents, to me, a rare misstep for McFarlane Toys. The lines on the bib just don't really feel accurate for Withered Foxy. Um, that feels much more like something that a phantom animatronic would have rather than a withered animatronic. From what I can see of screenshots from the game, Withered Foxy doesn't really have lines like that running down his front. Other than that, the details are pretty spot on. The fact that they gave him an eye patch that's up for jump scare mode um, and the way they exposed the endoskeleton through the head. Uh, those details all feel pretty spot on. Here's a look at Withered Foxy with all the other Fox animatronics, including the Mangles and the Foxies. Um, as you can see, the animatronic legs are actually the same as they used for Phantom Foxy, uh, just a different color. The bib is slightly different than the one we got with Phantom Foxy. Um, the head is also different, although it looks pretty similar in the area that's exposed, but um, uh, it's tilting a different direction and uh, has some other differences as well. So uh, they're definitely paying a lot of attention to detail in a lot of areas, which is why, again, the bib lines are uh, so strange. But uh, yeah, we're pretty close to, I think, having all the main Foxies. Really, only Nightmare Foxy is left. Uh, I'm not really going to count the adventure animatronics. Uh, but yeah, I think that's the only Foxy version we're really missing at this point. Yahar, it is time for a hook battle. Yahar, I agree. Hook, 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 hook. Clink, 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 clink. Hook, 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 hook. Hey, guys, can I play the hook battle? No, you don't have a hook. Also, you made Withered Foxy fall down with s such a silly request. But now he's back up. Hook, 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 hook. Ah, oh, sweet. We're on level 27. Why can't I ever play? Hook, 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 hook. The last figure in this set to talk about is the endoskeleton. So while it's not really shown on the box, it does include all the pieces to build a full endoskeleton. At least mine did. Uh, I wanted to do a quick comparison of this versus the endoskeleton that we got in backstage. Seems like the color they're using for the endoskeleton is slightly changed. It's a lighter version of gray. Also, just to uh, confuse some people, I put the uh, torso on in the opposite direction on this one versus that one. Which one is forwards? Which one is backwards? Hard to really tell. Uh, but yeah, just the endoskeleton looks great. Lots of detail on it. Uh, if you didn't previously get backstage and need an endoskeleton, this is a place to get the endoskeleton. Um, and like previous, if you take off the jaw pieces, you could put um, animatronic hats on top. Yeah, we're definitely Freddy and Chica. Yeah, that's right. We're definitely not endoskeletons in disguise. Let's go hang out with other Freddy and Chicas that are definitely real. Now let's take a look at the build itself. Um, it is a dilapidated room, uh, much like what we can see of parts and service. I'm gonna put those heads in there. This one goes up here, I guess. It's got a nice moving door here, slides very well. If you remember when I got an early prototype of the, this set, uh, this piece did not slide very well, but it was a prototype. And so um, it was not, uh, I think it was a 3D printed part as opposed to the official injection molded part. So just to show you, this does in fact slide really well. I in fact can't stop sliding it now. Um, they have all the endoskeleton parts scattered around, so I just did that for ambiance. Uh, I got a Freddy and a Chica head. The heads you get may vary. In fact, the box shows a Bonnie head as one of the possible heads. Um, so uh, that and the endoskeleton parts might vary from set to set, person to person. This has some hanging wires. These are the same wires that we got from the toy Bonnie 
and toy chica sets, more or less. Well, this one is. That one's not the same. I guess not. Thought it was. Or is it just bent more? Yeah. I think these are the same. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they're the same, just in a different color. Um, also, they're actually attached by these pipes up here. Um, so that's a nice touch. Uh, other things are not attached, like this Fred head. Um, but uh, big improvement from what we saw with the left and right air vent. Uh, the exit sign over there is nicely done. Green checkers all around. Our standard checkered floor. There's two spots where you could stand up an animatronic or attach a leg on its own. The door... Ooh. On the back, the door actually says parts and service on it. So that's a nice touch, though mostly invisible. And it does have a functional door, which a lot of the sets have been lacking since the early ones. Door. Door. One thing I wanted to point out with the Freddy and Chica heads I received, well, theoretically, these are exactly the same as the ones from the backstage. There's always slight variations, especially since so much of this uh, goes under, uh, I believe, hand painting. Um, so you can see there's like slightly different colors for the snout uh, mouth area on the two Freddies. Um, and the Chicas, uh, pretty much similar, but have different eyebrow uh, sizes a little bit. Um, so you do get some uh, variation. So if yours don't look exactly like mine, that's because even mine don't look exactly like mine, which is a confusing sentence. Overall, this is pretty standard for a McFarlane Toys Five Nights at Freddy's set. You get a bit of wall, you get a couple characters. Um, there's one kind of interesting feature, in this case, the moving door. Um, there are some repeats here. This is the second time we've gotten the endoskeleton, second time we've got uh, some of these heads, uh, kind of masks of, in my case, Freddy and Chica, in your case, maybe Chica and Bonnie. Um, so there's not a whole lot new here, and it really kind of depends how much you want Shadow Freddy and Withered Foxy, especially with Withered Foxy being slightly off, uh, kind of that might help you determine whether this is a set you want. I'm a completionist, so I needed this set um, as I needed all of the Five Nights at Freddy's McFarlane toy sets. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to Brick 101, and check out all my other Five Nights at Freddy's videos. Yahar, it is time for a hook battle. Yahar, I agree. Hook, 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 hook.